Oh yeah, folks. Play with friends here. Right, in this video, I want to go through my natural buy Tinder. That's this bag. The bag Sammy gave me. Or oh, one of them. If you watched my last video, I explained the reason why. I didn't have the other bag there, but I thought about it, I thought I might as well show you. So, that's that one there. This is my natural fire tinder bag. There is bits missing because I've used it, so yeah. You've all seen my pocket fire kit. If not, please go back into my videos. I will make up a new, um, what do you call them? I think it's playlist, I think. I'm not even really sure. I will make up another. I think it's playlist. I will make up a playlist because that's my pocket one. And as you all know, that's my main. Excuse me. As you all know, this is my main hardcore fire kit, what I use. So. And he hasn't really changed. So. There's only three bits in there change, but that's mainly the two of the tinders. Right. So that's them. As you can see, dopey dog behind me. There we go. Out the window. Right. Let's go into the this. Let's let let start off with. I carry dupe mine. I don't know how much is here, but this is what in my cordage video, this is what I came out of. I prefer it this way because then I can slip this into one of my pockets in my rucksack with the rest of my cordage. So it's not all right, it, it looks a lot bigger, but to me, it's a lot easier to use and get stuff off. And I can use that to make a bird's nest if I'm using flint and steel okay, with char cloth, I can turn that into a bird's nest. As I said, there is a few things missing from this bag, but we'll go into that after. Right, I'll explain why I keep this in a mesh bag. Basically, natural tinders, to me, have to breathe. Yeah, if they're not breathing, then there's no point having them in. There's no point using them, because at the end of the day, they're all going to just get moldy, they're all going to go off. There is ones in here, but in foil bags, because they don't need to breathe. And not just that, one of them, I don't want it to go everywhere, and the other one, if you have it in a mesh, if you just keep it in this type of bag, yeah, it's going to dry out and it's not going to work so well. Right, let's begin, shall we? Right, let's go to the foil bags first. Here, I just have some chopped down rolls or slivers or whatever you want to call them, pieces of wood, pieces of stick. Yeah, they're, only, they're not, they're, some of them are quite fat, some of them are really stupidly thin, but they can just take a spark within seconds. I usually carry a lot more than this, but as you all know, I haven't been out for, I'm not allowed out at the moment because I'm not very well. So, that's that one there. As you all know, I, I, I don't. I rarely use this, but I carry it, and that's fatwood. I like fatwood, don't get me wrong. Right, give me a second, I'll go into this one here, and I'll show you. Back of here, I have some fatwood shavings. Same as this one, but this one here is fatwood, and this one here always permanently stays. In this fire, in my big fire kit. So, yeah. Right, what else do we have in here? Oh, yes. This stuff here I really use because to me it's just a pain in the ass. Yeah, I, I'm going to give a load to one of my mates so then he can have a chance of using it because is we just wasted. So and that cattail. 
Good stuff, don't get me wrong, but it's just something I just don't really like to use that often. It's the same as the fatwood. I like fatwood, don't get me wrong, but I just don't really use it. Same as cattail. So, yeah, so we have some, I have some cattail. It's easier and natural, but they're man made, but they're still made out of 100% natural materials. And that's these fire starters. Uh, made um, with the blocks and then covered in wax. As you can see, I've got three in here. I do use them. I've got some in this fire kit, my big fire kit, and I've got some, as you all know, in my pocket fire kit. So, yeah, I've got some of them. Right. I've got some cramp balls. As you can see, I carry two cramp balls. I don't grab the big, 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 big one. Big ones because to me they're just just no point using. Yeah, I find with these after you took them after you take them, yeah, and you should go home. Don't stick them nowhere near no heat source. Stick them somewhere away from heat source. Yeah, and then they'd be perfect for you. So they're really really good. As you can see, I carry two in here. And they're not mouldy, they're not wet, they're not getting off a load of crap because they're dry. Because they're in a mesh bag. Don't be seen someone out the window, just give me a second please guys. How about that guy, she was just looking out the window, so yeah. Right, and the rest of this, oh there is something I've got to go and grab because I completely forgot to go and grab it. Okay. I've got some spare, but I just I've just forgot to put it back in. The, I've just forgot to put it in the bag. Yeah, here's birch bark. As you can see, I do carry nice pieces of this. I do like it. I do recommend it. And most of all, do you know something, guys? Yeah, it works. So I advise you you can get some of that. I advise you to get it. Right, give me another second, guys. I'm going to go and grab that quickly. The other stuff quickly. I like guys, but as well as I do carry some punk. Oh, sorry, guys. Some punk wood. Dry punk wood. Same again. Same as the um, crap balls. These. Yeah. If they're wet, I find if you pick these when they're wet, they're easier to come off as well. Same. Not same as crap, um, punk wood, but punk wood's dry. It's just dry wood. Well, it's not rotten, basically. This here makes great charred punk wood. Yeah. I haven't got no charred punk wood at the moment. So I've got to just, I've got to get some charred done first. As you can see, I've got quite a bit of this. Still, I've got still quite a bit in my ring. So, yeah. So I'll carry that. The thing what's missing, yeah, is Amadou. I've got some. I've not, I haven't got some. I've used it all up. I know I can get some, I know I can make I know how to make it. So I've got to get back on sooner sooner than later to add to this kit. So yeah, this is my natural Tinder kit. So tell me what you think. Tell me what would you would add. Natural, a hundred percent natural, you find in the wild, you don't basically go out and basically go, Oh, I went into the shop and bought this today. It's not natural, but yeah. I've got that, I use that all the time. I've got cotton balls, silk and vaseline, or petroleum jelly, sorry. About thousands of them. I mean thousands, I mean thousands. So yeah, and um, so yeah, please please like, please share, please subscribe. If you want to email, you can email me, my email's in the description. And um, so yeah, please, please be my guest, tell me what you think. So, Enjoy and get out and please get outside, guys. I know I keep saying that when I'm actually inside, but never mind. Please like, please share, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. All right, bye, guys. Bye, bye, bye.